Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Eddie Gonzalez. And uh, first, I just want to give a gigantic thanks for everybody's hard work on their um, on their literature reviews. It was really evident to me that you all took the time to, um, you know, look for research, synthesize it, put your own, um, you know, come up with your own uh, ideas and thoughts about what it all meant. And, um, and you know, grading, uh, you, you're all teachers, you know, grading sometimes can be a, a, an arduous affair, but um, I feel like I really got a lot out of it. And so I'm hoping that um, not only uh, by, by what I share in this presentation, that not only will I get a lot out of it, but maybe, um, you know, you can share your work with other people. So uh, my, my purpose here is just, just kind of uh, share with you a couple of outlets where maybe you can go present and, you know, how you can help disseminate this great information and these ideas that you have. So first, what are uh, what is this great information? What are these ideas? So as I was going through the work, I'm just going to share some of the titles, but you can see how for me this was re this was really enriching um, because it's like a, some of these um, titles that you had, or sorry, some of the the topics that you had, they attacked these problems from different angles. So um, one of you wrote about ability grouping, and then somebody else wrote about the effectiveness of small group instruction in the classroom, and then somebody else wrote about um, uh, about using technology to differentiate reading intervention. So it's cool because it's the same problem just being attacked from different areas. Um, then some of the other topics that, that were in it that, um, that, that I have written down were uh, integration of physical labs versus virtual labs, um, the importance of teaching uh, contemporary social justice, you know, which is relevant to, to what's going on now. Uh, why learning to code is a necessary skill in education. So um, consider that uh, what you have now is something that I've read, you know, that you kind of poured yourself into that your peers may see, but how can you, you know, spread that knowledge more? Well, if you go on and you carry this on in a presentation, like at a conference or in professional development or in your PLC, um, this part here that you have the literature review, review is maybe like the first five, 10 minutes of, um, of your presentation. And what I mean by that is this is where you will share why this knowledge is important and why it can be, or why it's applicable to your classroom. So when you go on and you do like professional development, you're not saying like, hey, this is what my idea is and this is why it's great. It's more of a, hey, this is how I'm implementing this, but it's based on this research and this research says why it's great or this research says, you know, why this is important to use. Um, uh, the, the <laughs> What's funny is that I... I had never heard of like conferences or I didn't know really about what it took to present and it wasn't until I had um, one of my instructors in my credential program and then my instructors in my master's program that really kind of pushed me, encouraged me to, to spread out and try um, and try presenting at these different venues. So the first time I actually presented, um, I presented because I wanted to have my students to have an audience. So I presented on 21st century learning. And then I did that at the Q conference, I think in 2014, or the at the local Kern Q conference. And, um, and I brought all my students to show what I was talking about. And part of the reason was because, um, uh, well, A, I wanted the kids to have the audience, but the other one is I didn't know how to explain all of this to people, but I thought, you know, well, if you could see it, you can, you know, you'll understand better. And um, from then on, I, I kind of like the presenting bug hit me and I always liked taking my students, you know, to show. and. And, and to show and kind of advocate for, for other kids. Um, so some places that you can go and present if you're here in California are um, local Q uh, affiliates. These are computer using educators and these are all based um, on technology, um, but um, the you, know, you can implement like your pedagogy and the content as well. Um, another one I know that people go present at is at the CMC, California Math Council. And I believe there's one in Southern California and Northern California. Um, you could also present it within school PD. So like if you have, um, like say your principal is really into how you're doing your, your small group instruction, why not, you know, run a session for like 20, 30 minutes within PD? Because we know PD can be like a really terrible, boring, arduous affair. <laughs> but um, uh, where you have like your first graders who are actually running the small group with teachers, pff, powerful. People love that type of stuff. Um, and uh, so let's see, so I'm gonna share with you one of my presentations, kind of show you the structure and then show you how this fits within kind of the assignment you're doing here and probably most of the assignments that you're doing in your master's program. Um, so this is a presentation that I did at, uh, at a conference and this one was one of my favorite ones. It's a it's an older one, it's about a year ago. So you know, I start out, I introduce myself, talk about who I am, blah, blah, blah. 
um, you know, give the goals. So this is essentially a lesson that I'm doing for adults and tell them, you know, this is what we're trying to do. This is where we're going. And this is how uh, this next hour is going to be structured. And then what does the research say? So the research, this was essentially my literature review and I did write a literature review and this is where I pulled it out of. I don't like to give them like a big long quotes. So I kind of show it like this. I talk on maturity for about a minute, talk on relationships for a minute, talk on the, how this impacts vocabulary and then the learning style. Then that's where I start jumping into the assignments or not the assignment, sorry, the actual structures and how you can build them. Um, and, uh, and I house all of my presentations within my own site. You could do the same thing. Some of you might even already have like a website, but this is where you would put like your work and kind of keep, keep it up. And it's cool because it acts like a portfolio for you. If you have one already, like I'd love to see it. You can share it with me. Um, you could also share like if you have like your own site, your portfolio lessons, you could put them on social media, connect with other educators. But the point is to like share because when we all see each other's work, um, you know, it kind of inspires us to do better, but it also gives us ideas on how we can apply that. Um, and so here on my site, like I said, I put all my resources, you know, these are the things you could follow. This is the example. This is what you can follow. This is the example. And then more examples to kind of show like, hey, I'm not making this up. You know, this is an actual professional development led by kids. Um, so uh, you have amazing work. Share it with people, you know, reflect on it, improve it. And, um, you know, just keep doing the, the good things you're doing, because like I said, one of the things that uh, impressed me the most going through the literature review is that you all have like really diverse experiences. And it was almost like I could just see like the, the passion oozing from the pages. And I was like, man, you know, I, I feel like I'm benefiting a lot. You know, how can we possibly share this so that many more people can benefit? So uh, thank you very much. Have a great uh, safe holiday weekend and see you all um, this next week.